All right. Hello, everybody. It's Miss Willow, and I am here with another fun episode of Farendale Archipelago. If you don't know what this series is about, well, you're in the right place because I'm going to tell you. It is a series where I, Miss Willow, am playing with my own Minecraft mod that I have been coding. So that is super, super, super fun, and I am excited to share it. So, that in the way background at the top is my house. And here, where I am standing, is the village. And what is making so much racket out there? Oh my gosh. Who's doing this? Who's doing this? Who's doing this? Well, I will gladly take the bones. Who is making such a fuss? Iron Golem? Ar Iron Golem, are you making a mess? He's making a mess of all the skeletons. Uh, where is he? He's over here? It's interrupting my whole video. Oh my gosh. Well, hello everybody. Don't forget to, oh, he's stuck. Don't forget to leave a like on the video. I am gonna die in two different ways at once, it seems. Oh, oh gosh. Um, if I can please get out of here. This is sad. Ah, I'm so sorry. Oh my God, is he mad? Oh no, he's dying. No, no, you are free. Oh God. I mean, there's nothing I can do about it. I don't want him to kill me. Oh no, no, no. No! The iron golem, no! He he died protecting us. That was so sad. Aw. Ah, well, anyways, what I am working on is making this village under this mountain my new township and, oh God. Oh, if the interruptions would stop. The interruptions, the interruptions, I tell you. Oh my God. Oh, it's so bad. Oh, I need my axe. And I need to be able to run, too, so that I can defuse this creeper before I finish my story. Ah! Don't forget to leave a like on the video! I will be dealing with this creeper. Oh my gosh. This is sad. Do not kill my baby trees. Do not kill my baby trees. And do not kill my baby trees. Oh my gosh, that is over. All right, now I can explain what this is and what this is and what I am doing with that. Okay, so why are the villagers climbing up the mountain? Stop! No, there's one over there too. Guys, you can't be doing this. He's already halfway up the mountain. What is he doing? Oh my god, another one. No, please, guys. Oh my god, can I please just make my video, guys? You guys are scaring me. Stop. Stop scaring me. Or else I'm gonna have to look at my firefly. Oh my gosh. Ah, what, is, what are you guys doing? Get off the mountain. Isn't it an illusion? Are you guys really that high up the mountain? No, but you guys are. You guys are, and I'm disappointed. I'm thoroughly disappointed in y'all. Okay. So what I am trying to do is make this my marketplace, shop place. I'm gonna transform this village into a quest village with lots of items. And right now, I am smoothing out the terrain, making it pretty and usable for villagers. There was a tree in the way blocking them from getting to their homes. I saved them. This I just built recently is the lumber shop, as you can see the sign. It is supposed to be a shop where you I can explore all the different items, different um, items, and I'm going to give myself a shop for them. So the oak lands, I will be having to pay five bits per stack to get these and so on and so forth. And I will be collecting Farendale bits by trading and doing quests and doing all sorts of stuff in the village. So I'm basically making myself a multiplayer world when it's not really multiplayer. <sighs> you guys get it. You guys get it. I don't have, I, I mean, I do have the money to do it but I need to find ways of satisfying my multiplayer SMP desire without any other people. Because you know what? It's difficult and I am going and it's costly. So I'm going to have to make myself quests and pretend that these NPCs are my friends. Oh, <laughs> okay. It sounds more morbid than it actually is. I used to do this in a world and I actually thought it was quite fun. Um, giving myself kind of like adventure quests as if this was part of the game like hey here's a shop i i obviously put these here but i'm gonna pretend that i didn't and one of the villagers did 
so that I can purchase these items and have to go through length in order to make this world an interactive, fun, quest-filled adventure. Because you know what? I like that. And you know what? I'm going to play it the way I like it. And you guys might also like it. <laughs> so I am also working on filling these chests and making the shops and making everything right. I'm trying to do as much of this as I can in survival, but obviously not put in here stuff that I have in survival got. Because then what's the point of me buying it if I had already chopped down the wood? That would defeat the whole purpose of a shop. <laughs> okay, so... Um, basically what I am doing is I'm going to be needing to do all sorts of things like this. Um, get Farindale bit, oh, Farindale bits ready. I had one more sign. I had to do something with it. <laughs> hello, Endo. Hello, Indigo. Welcome. And yes, lore. Lore is... I love lore. And even if I'm lonely in this world, I can pretend it. And I can pretend I'm not. I can pretend this is just the way the game is. And I have quests to do. And I have to go defeat things to earn other things that... Secretly, you guys know. You guys know I set it all up. But what's the fun in role-playing if I just tell you guys that? So, which I just did, so, you know what, I'm not that great of a role player then. Um, when done right, that is fun. I, I agree, I agree. And I want to slowly create this process, not in creative. I don't want to just build all the township in creative mode. I want to build it in survival mode because I want the experience of having gained all of that experience. And, oh, wow, this was an adventure to create the lumber shop. It's not just an asset to me. It's something uh, but I am going to have to both eat this apple, clear out some inventory room, plant the flowers so that I have room to put things, like shop items. So you are going to see me. This is the raw footage of me having to go into creative mode and do all these wonderful things. So I'm creating myself a shop. Birchlands, five bits a stack. So I'm going to just make my shop right now all right birch oh by the way a good a good thing to show you guys is all the items so far in the latest download and the latest update uh the link to my mod is in the description if you want it but here is all the items that so far are in the farindale mod i have been currently working on rose quartz and i made the turkey I made the turkey so that when you guys actually find turkeys, you can harvest them and get turkeys. You can slice salmon and cod, apple turkey feast, cooked turkey, honey candied turkey, fried egg is now a thing. <laughs> That's exciting. Oh, I forgot about that. So I, now you can fry eggs. You can put them on campfires or in the furnace. It'll work either way. Um, and you can eat the fried eggs. I have in the making hybrid spores so that you can get all sorts of different mushrooms, kind of like the hybrid seeds. Um, all the things you can fish up, not fishing up right now, but sift up. Um, Farindale bit, frozen chicken, which is a staple, honey glazed snowball, icicle, mythical ice kebab. Those are things necessary for taming, um, the Arctic basilisk. Here goes my crops and the seeds. Grizzly bear rug. Yes. So now I learned how I can put in custom block models and I can now make cool things that aren't necessarily a square. So yes, there is a big grizzly bear rug that I have added, but you can only get it so far in creative mode, but you can play around with it and see what it looks like. You can walk on top of it. It's a cute little thing that I'm going to add to the grizzly bear drops um, is a grizzly bear pelt. You can turn it into a whole bunch of different things, hopefully armor, a cloak, warm grizzly bear paw boots with the bear claws to wear as a necklace and a grizzly bear pelt to turn into a rug. All sorts of things. Say so yes, rose quartz block, rose quartz ore. I'm working on some stuff, all right? I'm proud of it. But yes, what I need is to search up log. Log, not LG, log. Here we go. All the birch is going to go in here. Ah! All of these gonna put them all in here and where is it birchlands okay birchlands you guys are gonna go in the shop 
All right, so I need two more stacks of that. Log. Nope. And then I need all the stripped ones at the top. So I just need to fill it in my shop a little bit. This is going to be great. And soon I want to have like a lumberjack custom villager so that he can even run this place and have a block that assigns his profession. I can do that, you know. I can make a custom villager. And there's a lot of them I want to do, like a baker. And we were talking in another live stream about little Easter eggs I could put in that. Like the baker, I was thinking, could be a cat. You know how cats need, like, they're kneading dough? Well, um, perhaps the baker could be a cat. <laughs> um, log. And instead of pine, it's just going to be spruce. You know how it is. Oh, and I might actually want to purchase some of these in this episode, because I do have Ferrandil bits back at my cabin, and I am in need of spruce logs. Like crazy. Oh my gosh. Put that in the inventory. Why aren't you clicking? Ah. But I'm de I've decided. I gave it some thought. I haven't been here in a couple of days, as you guys might have noticed. I have skipped some streams. Haven't been feeling the best of lately. I'm dealing with some um, unrelated stuff. But I am feeling good today. And you know what? I am feeling like, hey, I thought about it yesterday. What am I going to do about this whole server thing? I don't have many people interested in a server, uh, sadly. So for now, I'm going to hold off on paying for a monthly community server. Maybe that'll be a thing of the future. But I realize that I might be trying to fill in a little psychological talk right here coming up. But I might have realized I'm trying to fill this little gap inside of me. I used to... I used to be on the Continental SMP, and it was super, super, super fun, and I made a ton of friends, and it was one of the best Minecraft or gaming experiences I've ever had. Um, and it was an SMP full of people, I was part of it, full of people who were interested in Hytale, an upcoming game. And, you know, I just had so much fun, and it was so great. Uh, sadly, it got shut down, but ever since then, I always thought it would be amazing to have quests and a custom map with stuff to do and pranks to pull on people. And I feel like I've been just trying to fill this gap where I feel like I might have lost something special to me. And that's nobody's fault. It's just I miss that and I miss those experiences and I do feel far away from people at times online. So I was thinking, you know what, an SMP might actually be super fun in the future. So keep that in mind that I have been thinking about it. And one day there's a great possibility that I might open up a community server. Because I miss those times. I love interacting with people and having fun in a world. And it's just it just sucks that it costs money, though. I don't think that you should have to pay money to have an experience like that. That's something that I don't agree with, but I understand that in certain cases it's necessary um, for the game. But even in a small sense, I wish it was free. I don't really trust a lot of the free uh, server places, so I would prefer to always go ahead and like do a monthly purchase for something like that. But you know what? For now, I'm just going to try and create myself an adventure in this world because this is what I'm having fun with. So you know what? I'm going to do it. If you guys think it's fun as well, do please feel welcome to watch. Uh, Savannah, I have all of these almost ready. Birch, oak lands, and then stripped wood. All right. One, two, three, four. Stripped logs. Stripped spruce, stripped birch, stripped... And none of that is supposed to be a sad thing, too, what I was just saying. It's all just kind of perspective, like... I'm realizing in myself that that's something that I want, and I'm gonna try and create that for myself. It's always good, I think, to do things that make you happy. So even if it looks weird, my whole, um... Miss Willow, why are you making an NPC world with quests, even though we know you're the one behind it. Well, you know what? I like it. So that's it. That's it. <laughs> that's my explanation. I, I enjoy. Oh, 
That is so pretty. So yes, <laughs> I love the SMP adventure experience. I gotta close the door before any creepers come in and ruin all this hard work. Um, I enjoy that kind of adventure -y thing where I can visit another cabin, whether or not it's a player who made it. I like being like, okay, I gotta go talk to the lumberjack. I gotta go gather all these materials. So I'm gonna do that. <laughs> you understand? I feel like I keep going on and on, but oh, look at the little wall of snow there. But yeah, because I do miss it, one day I am contemplating making a community server. It might even be in this world. Who knows? But for now, I'm doing this. And that is such a pretty, pretty collage of different types of wood. <laughs> oh, hello, Theron. Welcome. Uh, what about using a smoker? Oh, interesting. Well, bear cloaks and stuff protect from freezing and powdered snow. Perhaps, that is a good question. Perhaps the bear feet, like I literally want the boots where you have the bear's claws sticking out of them. Perhaps if you wear those, you won't, you also won't sink. I'll have to figure out how that works <laughs> in the code, but that is a, that is a good idea. And I'm thinking, you know what, maybe... It'll keep you from freezing, maybe it'll keep you warm, and maybe you can walk on top of the snow like the leather boots. Another way to get leather. Hello, Miss Willow, I ordered tacos. Oh my gosh, tacos, that sounds great. Oh man, I'm hungry. You guys are making me hungry, honestly. Uh, but if you are just new to watching this episode, I'm making a lumber shop where I'm going to be buying different types with my... Um, Ferrandale Bits currency in the mod. I will be allowing myself to buy different stacked wood, uh, stripped wood, jungle thicket. <laughs> uh, oh my gosh, zombies are everywhere. I can't even do this. But yep, I am done filling the shop. So I, there will be obviously more things sold here. But I need to go back in survival mode and figure out what I'm doing. Oh my gosh. I also have to close this up. I don't want monsters getting in there. Ah, uh, I have to deal with all of these critters. Oh my gosh. Are you kidding me? Oh, I have the dirt to fill in that area. No, baby zombie, are you kidding me? Stop. No, no, why is he, he Why is he tricking me? He's running away. He's running away. He's tricking me. He's making me think that he doesn't. No, get away from the village. Oh my God. Villagers, get inside. You guys are stupid. I'm sorry. Oh my gosh. I'm skipping the night for them. I can't. Skip the night. Click. Oh god, the villagers are so dumb. They need to go inside when the sun is down. This is why I don't like them wandering halfway up the mountain. I don't like that. They're all gonna get themselves hurt. That's... I don't like that. I don't... I don't like that. I don't want that to happen. Um, but I am working on, on a happier note, I am working on fixing this really, I'm just going to loosely say disgusting pathway. I can't even look at it. I'm trying to just make it all grass for the time being. So, ooh, there's a basilisk. Um, there's like three of them in this village. It's crazy. I have them at a rarer spawn rate, so I don't know why there's so many right here. But basically, come on, creeper. I am trying to really, really crack down on making this place look presentable, making everything just grass paths, not not paved path. I don't like that look. It's so gross right here, especially going up the mountain. So in some cases it works. In this case, it does not in my artistic view. So I just kind of have to Make it a clean slate so I can put in whatever kind of path that I think looks good because this is a series where things have to look good as well. But I do need to cover up this little hole now that I have all the dirt to do so. I'm happy with that. I cleaned up this area, which is good. And I now have to retrieve myself some logs. When midnight comes, a zombie horde is likely to spawn in the village. Yep, yep. Tell me about it. It's crazy. I hate it when that happens. Literally, and especially the baby zombies. What 
really irks me is when there is like three baby zombies running around loose. Like, where are your parents? <laughs> I don't appreciate baby zombies. They really tick me off. Because they're just fast. And it's super sad. It's super sad how the game allows such creatures to exist. But here, um, finally needing to finish a little bit more of the architecture. Since this is the lumber cabin, I'm trying to give it more of a woodsy vibe. So not oak wood, but I'm trying to add a lot more spruce. Because I think of a lumberjack working in like kind of a more snowier region, a lot more, oh, what, you, what do you call that? Like, oh my gosh, I need to stop walking in the snow. No, oh my gosh, get out of there. Oh my gosh, I need to place dirt because I constantly am going to be walking around here. Done with the powdered snow. Who else is done with powdered snow? I'm done with powdered snow. I'm so done with it. Oh, hi, Zanelli! Oh, yep. I always am skipping the night in a village. I cannot risk any of my villagers dying. It is a very, very, very oddly, oddly anxious thing when night falls on a village because the villagers really don't know how to fend for themselves. It is really sad. If they knew to go inside like they're programmed to at nightfall and not wander halfway up a mountain where everything's going to try and kill them you know what my life would be a lot easier but no it does it, it things don't happen like that right villagers do not do what they're supposed to yes i'm looking at you you were almost about to go up the mountain and that would have been a nightmare I need to plant all of these spruce trees. I have to have, ooh, another one. I have to have more spruce wood to make my little cabin happen. All right, come on. There's a log I'm missing. And right there. Don't mind me while I collect a whole bunch of logs. See, I told you there's a lot of basilisks here. There's like a really whole bunch of ton. <laughs> You love powdered snow? Oh my gosh. I mean, it's a challenge if it's here and there, but when it's literally everywhere, when it's literally everywhere, like what is even this patch? This isn't even a biome. I wouldn't even consider that a biome. Like, what are you doing? What is that little thing of snow doing right there? There's not an even anything. There's not even a point. Ugh, that's what irritates me. Like, what is this? What is this? What is this whole thing? It's a mess. It's a mess. It's an eyesore. I don't like it. Of course I love the snow and I want to move more north and I want to be all cabiny like in real life. I want to be all like cabiny, chop your own wood, make your own soup, live in the snow. In Minecraft I'm not fond of bad weather, but in real life I am. But like you got to realize when I'm trying to build, I don't want to drown in powdered snow. All right, and there's more dirt. Trying to fill in all the holes. Ugh, yuck. Here we go. All of these are gonna have to happen right here. All right, where is the, oh, I need to place all these. Oh, there's a little firefly. Oh my God, my fireflies are so freaking cute. He's sitting next to the horse. Look, oh my God, he's making friends with the horse. He's, if the horse looks back at him, I'm gonna cry. Oh my God. Oh my god, I can't do this. That's cute. Okay, so this has to happen right now. One, two, three, four, five, six. I need to make this little lip up here before I even contemplate starting the roof. That is what has to happen first and foremost to finish this one shop. And of course, in the future, I want to really make these look great and much more bigger and dynamic. Maybe a big tower for each of them. Like a whole castle village. I love that idea. And, there, and I, what I like is the sea is right there. So I can even extend the village to a fisherman's shop. Way over there. I like that. Ah! Yes, I did it! 
Here we go. I'm gonna go back in here and collect more logs until I have enough logs to do my little project with. If only these trees grew faster. Oh wait, they are. Never mind, I'm just not looking. <laughs> I have to pay attention more. I keep thinking nothing's working out right, but it, it really is. I'm just not facing the right direction. <laughs> All right. They did trap cows, which is one of the things that I necessarily need. I always can never find cows. If you guys know from other series of mine, cows are like one of the things that I struggle to find. Here we go just gonna climb right back up here and work on this and plop ah, I don't need one there and plop like this maybe I'll have enough maybe I'll have it I don't think I have enough but maybe maybe luck will actually work out for me six more Oh my gosh, I was so close. I just have this little gap left, and then I can turn all these into planks. Oh, yes. Thank you. Thank you, trees, for growing. Are you struggling to find cows? Well, in the other series, I did. But actually, in this world, the villagers trapped cows for me. And I don't have to work for them anymore. I can just come to the village and breed more cows. It's great. But yes, I do struggle to find cows. Like, it's really weird. In one of the last series that I did, cows were like a rarity for some reason. I don't know why, but they were. I could just never find them. They never, they, they knew. They knew that they were in trouble. They knew that I was coming for them. So they all planned together to leave the Minecraft world behind. And of course, I'm like bewildered by this. But here we go. Just a couple more. I gotta eat too. Yes, you, you don't. You don't have. You don't have to watch me eat this if you don't want. It's. It's very sad. I'm trying to use up what I don't necessarily need. And it's 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 a, it's a sad thing. I'm embarrassed. Don't worry. Trust me. I do not eat that food or not. I don't. I do not eat that not food. Oh my gosh. <gasps> Hi. Oh, it's the one that I think it's the one that forgives me. Oh gosh, did I, did I mess up there? Oh, there we go, perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Yes, perfect. I chopped down more trees. They're all growing right now and I feel so rich. <laughs> I don't even have to buy any of these trees from the market. That's why I don't even think I'm gonna use that part of the store. I'm just gonna make the lumber shop something a little bit better. All right. Ah, my sleeves are so itchy. If you see my mouse jerking, it's because my sleeves are so itchy. I have this sweater. It's so gorgeous and pretty, but the sleeves are so itchy. I can't even, I, I can't even, I can't even. I'm so mad. Like literally. Oh, no, stop. Okay. Villagers, get inside. Villagers, villagers, get inside. It's nightfall. You guys don't know what you're up against. I'm gonna skip the night for you. There's nothing in there. I'm just gonna skip the night for you because you guys don't know how to protect uh -huh. yourselves. Uh -huh. Here we go. Uh -huh. Planting more trees. Oh, I'm getting so many saplings. This is amazing. But I don't need to plant all of them. So in here, I have a little crafting table, hopefully in each shop, so that I can easily go in here, craft more things. Uh, I can make a shepherd. I can make all sorts of things. That's good. That's good. That's good. Um, let's see. Oh, yes. Spruce planks. And all of this is going to hopefully become lots and lots of stairs. But the night air is lovely. Yes, yes, absolutely. Ah, come on, where's my, oh, I don't have enough. I don't have enough for stairs. Okay, that's all right, that's all right. That's all right, I just need to collect more of these trees. I, don't, I definitely don't have enough 
to work on the roof. But once I'm done with the roof, this is going to be so pretty and I can work on other parts of the world. Yes, I'm having to jump to do this. I don't, I'm too lazy to make myself a tower. <laughs> it's not happening. I'm too lazy. I'm too lazy. Trust me. Ooh, saplings is a whole other thing I need to do there. I need to put all the saplings for different regions in this shop. There we go. There we go. Gonna plant another one of these here. Another one there. I need to not forget to replant them, though. Because the moment I forget to replant them, then I'm struggling to get the trees, and it's gonna be super stressful and sad. Alright. All of these are gonna go in here, plop. And then, I gotta make my roof. I gotta do it. I gotta make it. Right in here. All the stairs. More stairs. I need more stairs. Alrighty. I'm gonna need a whole lot more of these, but not too much, not too much. I'm almost there. Trust me, the boring part is almost over. Are you including nether trees in that shop? I don't think so, but that is a good question. I thought about it, I contemplated it, but I realized it was a little too exotic. I was thinking about having an other worlds shop. In one of the streams that I did recently, I was talking, I listed all the shops that I want to add. And I want to have a traveling one I, for like rare goods like cocoa beans and such from other lands and melons. Um, and maybe even parrot spawn eggs for really, really, really expensive or something. I don't know. That's just an idea. But um, I was thinking about having an other worlds shop where you can purchase goods from the end and the nether and any other um other terrestrial plane of existence in the world that you can go to ah uh, there's some of those ah, i'm gonna need more this is sad i need more much more much more they're growing at slower rates now even though it's raining I, i'm sad about that because I need all of my spruce. Spruce will make this village come to life. It'll spruce it up. <laughs> I'll catch up eventually. Oh, don't worry, don't worry. They'll, they'll be there for you to watch. Um, I'm sure for a long, long time. But I have a little list somewhere. I just don't know where it is, so I can't pull it out and read them. But I was talking about a shop dedicated to other dimensions. Because I do plan, hopefully someday to add different dimensions in the mod and different custom trees and biomes and I could have a place like that. But, um, you know, for starters, I'm gonna have to really make sure that these shops make sense before I uh, turn them into reality. Like, let's say a lumberjack is a simple villager. Where would he travel? I don't think he would be able to go to the end in the nether, um, or even really know what that is, so more of a terrestrial plains kind of trees and items, wooden furniture, stuff like that perhaps would be sold here, but other than that, maybe not that much. Uh, I think maybe that's enough stairs and spruce planks. Sure, sure. I'm just gonna start building and see if I have enough to go somewhere with it. Of course, I can even work in some patchwork in here. If I run out of spruce, I can always make cute patchwork and use some oak. Never hurt. And I will watch them. I will. <laughs> uh, maybe not the evil laugh part. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, the evil laugh is classic. The evil laugh does not phase me. All right, um, and then here, perhaps like a little bit of blocks like this. I have to get rid of these. Somehow these are in the way. I don't like that they're in the way, but they are. Oh, just like that. And like this. No, okay, yes, that one can stay there. And then over here, oh dear me. 
I might not have enough, but this will give me time to let the trees grow so that I have more resources. Oh no, it's snowing. Oh, it's snowing on it. Oh no, stop, 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 don't snow on it. I love the snow, but please don't snow on my build. Not on the lumber shop. But I mean, that could add a little bit of aesthetic, like it's found deep in the forest. The deep forest. Like this, like this, and then that, and then a this. And then a little bit more upwards, like uh, that. And then like that. Let's see, how does this work? So I'm gonna add this up there, just as a little bit of a peak. One, two, three. There we go, it has a little bit of a step up. It's gonna be an interesting shape, but I think it'll work. Another block there, stairs there. Oh no, I have to get myself up here. <laughs> oh God. And then, I'm definitely going to need more stairs for this build. I underestimated the hugeness of this house. And like that. Hold on. Ah! Like that. And then one, two. This is going to be hard. <laughs> oh gosh. I have to keep building. I can't stop building. Just like so. Uh, what is happening here? What? Where did, where did you go? Oh my god, there it is. Why did it glitch? That's scary. Okay, that's all of my spruce planks. Uh, oh, no! I fell. But I have more spruce trees to cut. Yes, there they are. They're so innocent and sad, though. I can't kill them. They're trees. Trees are like the dominant species of Earth. Trees are... Trees are OP. Fortunately, snow doesn't stick on stair roof tiles. Yes. Oh my gosh. Fortunately. That is definitely a fortune. If I ever knew one. Uh, maybe I'll even put a bed in the lumber shop up top so that a villager can even use it. Because the more beds there are, the more spread out these villagers will be. And more safe. I suppose. So I'm definitely going to need more logs. Give me all the logs. All of them. What did I just hear? Was that a pillager? You get inside! It's raining! What are you doing, nitwit? Get inside! You can't even... You can't even understand how dangerous... How dangerous it is out here. You're not an adventurer. You don't even have a job, Mr. Green Shirt Villager. Trust me when I say go inside. It's raining, that means zombies and baby zombies. And God forbid skeletons are gonna be out here. God forbid. Uh, okay. Let's see, is this enough? See, the shape of that, it works. It works. It just needs architecture. It's not going to stay flat like that. I'm putting stone on the outside. Trust me with my building skills. I am improving. Okay, here we go. Lots of those. Lots of... Lots more stairs. Lots more stairs. Two more stacks of stairs. Let's see where it goes. Ugh. Rain, why? Why is it raining so much? The rain is crazy. I wonder, do you guys know how many times it has rained in this one episode? Probably too many. Too many. Too many to count. Too many that I want to count. So I have to actually drag this way over here. Because I'm going to make the other side uneven if I don't know. So right here, right there, and I think it was right here that also gets dragged along because I have one little step up for the building. Oh, now I have a little bit more structure. It looks better. There we go. There we go. Perfect. Oh. The beams, the structural beams make this look so much better. Ah, and I'm so happy that my basilisks are actually just in the world living 
alongside us. I do need to find turkeys, though, because, you know what, they have to be here somewhere, and I'll be sad without them. Although I've already explored these lands, so the turkeys might not spawn yet. I have to clear out some other mobs, make some room for their spawn spawning. Ah, place the stair! But yeah, I'm excited. This world is coming along. Oh my gosh, will, will it please place... <laughs> It's not listening to me, guys. It's being so mean. Uh, like this, like that, that, that. Perfect. And then on this side, it is coming along. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I don't know how many that is, but it doesn't matter. I already have it even. And then I have about a stack left. I think I'm going to need one more stack to finish this build of stairs. But, you know what? It's fine. It's fine. I have some support for the... No! <laughs> I hate it when that happens. Ah! It's almost done. I just need a roof. I hate doing the roofs because it's just the most time-consuming, boring process. But at the same time, I can make it fun. Right, guys? Right? You trust me? I can make this fun, a fun experience for family and friends. Building the roof. Wait, I actually might have enough. Here, 36. I might have enough. Let's see here. 36 more stairs. I might actually. I might have overcounted. Oh, give me that. I need every single one I have left. But I also have to put torches in there now because creepers are going to start using this as their partying space. And I don't like that. They tend to do that. They really do. I'll definitely have enough stairs. This is great. And then all I have to do left is break all of the support beams that- Oh my gosh! No! <laughs> Oh, it's so annoying. Oh, that's so annoying. I need to get rid of all this evidence that I climbed up the roof like Santa Claus. <sighs> and leave it for the villagers to, to decide who built this house because they, they'll never know. All right. Can I please, please? I need coal. This is sad. I need lights or anything. Coal and lights. <gasps> no! Who did that? No! No, you don't! Please! Oh, the arrow bounced off of me. Did you see that? <gasps> Please feel welcome to rewind. The arrow bounced off of me and I saw it. It happens so frequently now that I swear I'm cursed. I swear I'm cursed. There's No, guys, don't go outside. There's a zombie. No, get away from my- get away from my villagers. Get away from them. Get away from them. Oh my gosh, I saved you and you're- not even thankful. Wow. Ugh, a new iron golem. Good, 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 good. I need- we need someone to protect these villagers. And don't worry, the roof isn't done. I have to sincerely... Ugh. First of all, put lights in here. But second of all, get more cobblestone stairs. It has to happen. It has to happen. It's really got to happen. There we go. Okay, I think that's enough. Oh, okay, now I just got to climb up here. Are you kidding me? Where's my where's my axe? Here, I just need to bring this guy right into the sunlight. Right into the sunlight. Why aren't you burning? There we go. Ah, oh, it was slow to do it. Ugh, oh, jeez. Villager, you need to be thankful. I saved your life. Uh, what am I trying to do? This. I am trying to climb up here. Actually, I would rather use stone because I am out of a pickaxe right now. <laughs> I mean an axe. A regular axe. I am out of axes. And I've got to place all these sturdy, sturdy stairs right here. One. Two. Ugh. This is hard. This is harder than I thought. Ugh, I used wood again. Are you kidding me? I need to go down a little bit and up to the side. 
Not like that. One. Jeesh, this is really hard. Sorry, guys. I wish I had something more exciting to <laughs> talk about then. One, two, three. It's just, this is hard work. This is hard work. This is hard work. All right. Trying to get this angle in here. One, two, and then a, a block. Okay. And then, ugh, sheesh. This is gonna be a nightmare. This is a nightmare. No, I placed it upside down. This is why I hate stairs. I hate stairs. I don't trust stairs. Here, let me just, ugh. Is this how it's gonna be for the other end too? Probably. Story of my life here. <laughs> All right. And then the, the underside is very easy because the blocks are closer to me and I can actually figure out where they go. No! Are you kidding me? Oh my god, I hate building roofs. I loathe it. I can't do it and I loathe it and it's stupid. Oh my gosh, I'm... As a streamer, this is not something that I think people want to watch, which worries me, and this is why I hate doing roofs. I can do roofs just fine, as long as I know that the moment I start building a roof, not everybody's going to leave because, uh, this is why I hate it. Ah, it's boring. And look at that. Look at that. Look at that. My failure, my failure is so high right now. Oh my god, I'm just building, ran I'm just placing things randomly and angrily. Put it right, th oh my gosh. There we go. You can, you realize, you realize this is kind of the worst thing in the world to me. Kind of. There's worse things. Oh, but this, this, this is one of the top most terrible things in the game that ever was a thing. Oh my god! Oh my god! I- Oh! <sighs> Roofs are the worst! This is why nobody likes survival mode and nobody plays survival mode and when I ask people, oh hey, are you into survival mode? No. What do you mean, no? It's the only way to play the game. Now I understand. Oh my gosh, I have a beam there too. It's because I need to... Just bear with me. Bear with me. Soon enough, I will have finished the roof. And I don't have to worry anymore. And it'll be in the past. It'll be behind me. Alright. Almost there. One, two... Three, four, calm down, Miss Willow. Everything's okay. One, two, three, four. And that part is done. Ah, I gotta make an axe. I don't want to waste my pickaxe on this. I mean, it's the same amount of resources. It doesn't matter. Ah, but I gotta... That looks a lot better. The architecture makes it look so much better. I guess I'm proud. I guess I'm proud. And I guess the- Oh, this part's gonna be so much difficult. So difficult. Alright, I'm gonna have to do this anyways. It has to happen. Someone's gotta do it. And of course I can't get the right angle. It's gonna place them upside down or something. Oh! I can just go on the roof. Wait, what am I, what am I doing? I can just walk on the roof and everything will be okay. Here we go. That's right. Not everything has to be difficult, Miss Willow. You can just use smarty brainy science and then everything will be okay. And there's a block. I should have done this from the start. You know what? I'm learning. No! Oh my gosh. Oh, no. Oh, powdered snow. Oh my god. Oh my god, today's not my day, is it? Oh my gosh. How sad. How sad. I don't like that. Oh 
I just looked up the recipe for the ice kebab. <laughs> it's so complicated. <laughs> I'm actually rather excited to go through and make the farms necessary for it. Oh my gosh. I, I'm so happy. <laughs> it's literally, I make it super, super difficult on purpose. You're probably going to need silk touch. It's because for a creature like that, you're, I want people to really have to go through the effort of making something extreme. They're going to have to really want to tame this creature for this process to be worth it to them. Like, I do not want, oh, hey, you feed it, feed it ham and, or feed it a piece of steak and it's going to like you. No, 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 no. You're going to have to really wow this creature. Prove to it that you truly, truly desire to be its friend. <laughs> And then it'll know. You got this, Miss Willow. Thank you. Oh, God. No, no. Oh, I missed the powdered snow. Oh, my God. Indo, your words are lucky. You have luck in your words. I was about to drown in the powdered snow. And then the game was just like, no, nah, no. Nah, it's just going to be regular snow. You're lucky. There we go. One more. Ah, one more. No. Oh, my gosh. God, I hate, 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 hate all of this Haiti, 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 Haiti. So much hate. Ah, what is this? Why is lava and apples have to be a thing together? That's sad. Okay. This is what has to happen. This is what has to happen. You guys, this is what has to happen. I have to, oh, I have to build closer to here. And then I gotta go like this. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Is that all it needs? And then just a couple more. This is why I don't need to build the house so utterly tall. That's the problem. It's because the house is tall. The base of the house is really tall. I'm almost done with it. I'm so excited. I'm done with it. Other than the glass and the windows and everything, I have completed this. Ah, <sighs> everything is okay now. Everything is okay now, except I need light in here. Where, what am I gonna make? What am I, what do I need to make? Uh, this. I don't have any more axe, so I need to <laughs> break my whole mess. My whole mess kebab right here. Well, I live in a snowy plains village. It needs to be the village mascot and the protector. Oh my gosh, that's amazing! Wait, so, question. You got it working? Like, you're uh, you're playing with the mod now? Because that's exciting. I remember, I, I thought, for now, you didn't have it yet, or couldn't play it yet, and was, like, kind of just, like, thinking about all the things that you were going to build for it, but, like, you, you actually have the mod now and are, are able to play with it? Because that's amazing. All right, all these houses are going to get wicked glow up because look at that. If all your houses look like that, like look at your puny houses, villagers. Look, I mean, they're cute. They're cute. They're cute. They're super happy and have a good energy. Like that is so cool. But I need to skip the night. I'm sorry. I skip the night. You can't skip the night. But I love that. The village mascot. I love that. <laughs> oh my God. Here we go. Now I just got to clear out this area. And I got to get coal. That's something that I have to get. Coal is important. I have to get it. Because I need torches in there. Any coal down here? Hello? Any coal? I don't see any coal, but is there any coal? All right. I don't see any coal. No coal is answering me. So there might not be any coal down here. Guys, where's the coal? I can't see. I don't have torches. I need to make- oh my god. I need to make a recipe for my charcoal sticks to be able to turn into torches. Because seriously? Seriously? Oh, there's coal. There's coal. There's coal. There's coal. There's coal. Yes, 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 yes. Please, please, please. Please, please, please. Yes. Absolutely yes. Please, yes. I need it. I need it. I need it right now. At the moment, no, I haven't had any problems. I'm just playing it slowly, like once or twice a week. Oh, I see, I see. That's good to hear, though. I'm glad it's working out for you, and that makes me so happy. 
Like, oh my god, people are playing my mod! Ah! S skeleton! Skeleton! You, get out of here! Get! Oh, oh my god, stop! Stop! No scoping! There we go. Uh, I have to get back up. Oh, there's more coal! Wait, how did I miss the coal right there? Oh my god, there's like enchanted zombies. Yeah. What is happening? Oh my gosh, they're in a fight. Stop! Stop! I want, I want his enchanted- Are you kidding me? Okay, but I get to make a torch. Huh. Huh. Oh. Don't you hmm at me. I'm making torch. Torch is where it's at now. Torch goes right here. Torch goes right here. I gotta make this safer to, for the villagers. Torch goes right there. Torch goes on the inside of the shop here. Right here. Right there. And maybe on the inside of here. One, and then two. And maybe I can even place some stairs, make an upper staircase area. One, two, three, four, five. Perfect. And then up here, I can even work on... Oh, I need one more here. I can even work on a loft with special items upstairs. All right, I like this. And even maybe some villager beds too. I want the villagers to spread out evenly so that I can make the village so much bigger and wider all the way to the sea possibly. That's something that I wanna work on. Like this. Ooh, did somebody just come into this house? I think a villager did. I just heard a door, like really, really close. <gasps> yes, he did! Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. No, I'm sorry. I was, I'm sorry I was so mean to you, villager. Don't worry, don't worry. Ah, he was the one I was mean to. He's the, he was the one that I didn't like. Oh no. He liked, he checked out my shop. He does like me. He does like me. That's so sad. He does like me. Uh, here we go. Lots of fences. I gotta make sure no villagers fall down. And like this. One, two, three, four. A little more better looking. <laughs> and then up there, I can even put the torches. More torches. There has to be more torches. I can't let any monsters happen here. And then these so that nobody falls off the railing. There we go. Perfect. And up here can be more of a shop. And then, ooh, I need more villager. I need more villagers in here. I need villagers to visit the lumber shop. The lumber shop is working correctly. All right. And I even make the, I, you know, I even want to make the chests in survival mode too. So more chests. I can't put barrels because they'll all turn into fishermen. Um, that's sad. Campfire. Here we go. Perhaps even I could decorate this area by putting a campfire right here. He really loves that place. He's running in there. Did he see something? Is there something bad in the field? Yes, there is something bad in the field. Get out of here. Don't touch my villagers. Oh, so he didn't like my shop. He was just protecting himself. <laughs> That's sad. Okay, but anyways. One. Two. Three. Oh my gosh. The lumber shop also needs some aesthetic to it. So campfires. Ooh, some dark spruce logs. Yes, please. Like this. Perfect. And even some, ooh, that's going to even emit some more light. Let me show you guys the fried eggs. I do have chickens now. So watch this. <gasps> ah, fried eggs are a definite thing that has to be in the game. Look at that. Ah, fried egg. Fried egg. And since fried eggs are super easy to make, um, I have their cook time really, really quickly. So there we go. Better food. Oh my gosh. It's amazing. It's amazing. I'm proud of this. I'm proud. This is amazing. Okay, well, um, anyways. What am I doing? 
trying. I'm trying to figure something out. Uh, some fence posts, perhaps? Hmm. No. 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 I'm trying to figure out what I want to do with the flooring. So like this. Do villager farmers farm your crops? Uh, yes they do. Oh, oh, my crops. They do farm crops, but they don't farm mine. Good question, though. It's going to take me some time to figure out how to make that work, but I want them to be able to do that. Specific farmers for my crops would be really cool as well. And I do like the look of grass and cobblestone together as a path. So maybe that'll be what my new paths will be. I gotta make it not look so much like checkers, so have them more randomly spread out. Like one, two. I'm definitely getting super proud of the look of this. Do you guys like it? I hear zombies! Why do I hear zombies? Stop it, guys. Zombies, stop. This, it's, it's daylight. Or are they below me or something? They might be below me. They might be below me. Because I did cover up a hole. Oh, gosh. I did cover up a hole. Just like this. And look at that. This is going to be so cute. This is looking amazing. Okay, yes. This is a whole new beautiful... Ah! Ah, I love it so much. Oh my god. This is amazing, and there's even light in here, so let me work more on the shop. Okay, let me figure out what else needs to go in the shop. Let me create some more chests. Uh, chests will be good right here. Some more of the shop could be in here. Some special items. That can open under the stairs, right? Yes, okay, perfect. Um, and then do I have signs? I'm gonna need signs. Signs! Where's the signs? Am I just missing it? There's the sign. Okay. I did miss it. So let me figure out. Okay, here we go. I've got to put some of my things away in a chest. Alright, just so that I have the room. And I don't mistake my things for other things. There we go. More things in here. Ah! Just for my creative work right now. Ah. Alright, so if I go into game mode creative, this is looking amazing. Let's figure out what else can go in the shop. Maybe some things from my mod. Yes, the lumber farm should definitely sell charcoal bundles. I need to put these things away. Charcoal bundles. No, not cotton. Charcoal bundles. Anything else that they might be able to sell? Oh, charcoal oak. Oh, man. That's good. All right, specialty, no, charcoal. Game mode survival, because I want to use up my signs, fair and square. Charcoal valuables. Ten bits... Wait, no, 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 no. Let's do 15 bits per stack. All right, 15 bits per stack for the charcoal valuables here. Like charcoal oak, um, a custom block, charcoal bundles, which is a fuel source. So that's going to be pretty cool. Um, the shop is actually coming along pretty well. I'm liking how this looks. I can see chests from all angles. I can see words written. It makes you really think about it. Um, hmm. 
Let's see. What else? Hmm, what else is kind of lumberjacky? Let's let's see. <laughs> Maybe campfires. I don't know. Where am I looking? Tons of stuff. Lots of things. Item frames? Item frames? Yes, please. Sadly, you can't stack them. But item frames are a must-have. Oh, wait, you can't stack them? Wait, hold on. All right, this is... Hold on. Those are going back. Why do I hear... Oh, I just... Oh, my gosh. Item frames? Why do I hear a zombie right behind me? Is he below me or is he about to kill me? All right, I can do 10 each. That seems like a fair amount. No. No, I messed it up. I messed it up. Hold on. 10 in each row. I got to be very careful here. Okay. Because item frames are definitely something that I am always looking for. Item frames. Okay. Book and quill, perhaps? No. Book. Here we go. Eight books and ten of those. I can charge them. Or me, me. I can charge myself. How much? Here we go. Survival. At its finest. Frames. And. And. Frames and books. Are going to be oh I need another I need to make myself another sign oh gosh my stuff's outside oh it is nighttime oh that's not good oh no um okay I'm gonna need that with me I'm gonna need sticks alrighty let's close the door behind me because I that is a zombie probably outside And then a sign. More signs. How much do I want, uh, think is fair for them, each a stack, uh, per slot? Maybe five bits each. That seems fair. Five bits per slot. All right, there we go. <sighs> My shop is definitely coming along. I'm, I'm proud of that. Um... Oh, hi, Michael. Welcome. Welcome. Um, and what did you ask? Do villagers farm, our cro uh, farm your crops? Oh, yeah. I can stare at the farmer while holding corn seeds. Oh, yes. So they do trade some of my crops, but they don't farm them yet. Oh, why aren't you doing your job, Iron Golem? I, s I hear things hissing and creaking and growling. He's not doing his job, is he? <laughs> But here we go. I should actually place more, um, I need more sticks. I need to protect the village more. So this is going to have to happen. A lot more of this. A lot more torch action here. Because the villagers don't know how to defend themselves or even protect themselves, sadly. They 
do not understand what it means to go inside at nighttime. So sadly, I have no other choice than to place torches everywhere. I know it doesn't look great. It doesn't look great. From afar it will, but... Oh, not there. But yeah, they need to be more careful about their surroundings, which they are not. So I need, in order to work on my projects, not have to worry every two seconds about where the villagers are. So there we go. Less monsters spawning. Perfect. So yeah, here is my um, new lumber shop. And I have some things for sale. And I want to put more things up here. I want to really make the villagers want to come in here. Um, along with myself. We're all under this beautiful mountain, which is really cool. And I even have a little fireplace that I added here for extra aesthetic. So that was my little project today. Ouch, ouch, ouch. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, no, no. It's so hard to move in this perspective. Anyways, guys, if you enjoyed the video, please show your support by feeling so welcome to leave a like on the video. That does help a ton. It's a small gesture, and I know not a lot of people like to do that, but it does help. And with anything, I hope you guys enjoyed. Be happy. Joy is best. Happiness is great. So be happy. And I will see you guys next time. Bye!